What's going on guys? It's Brody Kern and today I'm going to be talking about how to become more disciplined. In order for your life to change, you have to make a committed and congruent decision to actually change. The thing that is holding you back is the identity and the beliefs that you hold about yourself. The set of circumstances that has led up to you becoming the person that you are today is what is holding you back. It's the glass ceiling, the identity that you hold with yourself. And in order to become more disciplined, you have to change that identity and that story that you associate with. What is the answer to the question if I say, who are you? What comes to mind instantly? That is the story that you are telling yourself. Do you instantly come up with something negative or do you go off on a positive direction? That simple question is going to quickly show you what is holding you back or what is pushing you forward. What story are you telling yourself? If you clicked on this video and you wanted to know how to become more disciplined, that means there's a very, very good chance that you were telling yourself that you're not a disciplined person. Okay, let's take the example of maybe you want to get up early. Maybe you wake up at 8 and head to work, but you want to get up at 6 or 6.30 and head to the gym. Well, first, you can't tell yourself that you're not a morning person. The biggest problem that individuals make is they identify with someone who's not a morning person. In order to actually get up on a consistent basis, they have to be congruent with the idea at their core that they are the type of person that gets up in the morning, goes to the gym, gets shit done, and then goes to work. They have to actually believe that inside in order for it to become a reality. You see, the thing is, like, it is incredibly simple. Everything is a simple solution. If like discipline is inversion. If you eat too much, eat less. If you want to get up, if you sleep in, don't sleep in. Like you literally have to do the opposite of whatever your negative habit is. It is a simple solution. But the problem is that the human condition complicates things. The mind is what complicates things. If you are able to gain control over that and change the story that you tell yourself, you will have the ability to become disciplined. You see, what is going on internally is actually the only thing that you have control over. The external, how many red lights you hit, that person that treats you bad, how their day is going and how that affects you, like none of that shit is anything that you have control over. The only thing that you have the ability to control is what is going on in here. And if the funny thing is, if you control what is going on in here, that will actually paint what is going on in the external. But most individuals let the external decide how they feel internally. That is the opposite of what you need to be doing. Remember how I said that discipline is inversion? Th that is where it starts, with the internal and the external, what is in your control and what is out of your control. To become disciplined, you must identify at your core with that person that you want to be. The person who eats healthy, the person who gets up in the morning, the person who makes a ton of money, the person who hits all of their goals. You have to believe that shit internally for it to actually happen. You cannot go to point B if you have no clear vision of where it's at. In order for anything to become a reality, you actually have to see it first in your mind. That is the path to becoming more disciplined because discipline really just comes down to fighting the impulse to indulge. And here is what you had the switch that you have to make. The switch that worked for me is everything that I considered to be cool or fun or the things that shot dopamine off in my brain, whether that be taking that extra bite of food, laying in bed when I should be at the gym, the impulse to indulge right? Really focus on that. Every time that you indulge, every time that you give in to that impulse, you are actually sacrificing an opportunity to grow. And for me, whenever I started to switch my thinking, what happened is I started to identify with someone who was incredibly disciplined, someone who was incredibly obsessed with the idea of growth. So any chance that I got to grow, 
I took it. And then when I started framing things that way in my mind, when I started framing the resisting the impulse to indulge as an opportunity for growth, I took it. I was no longer indulging in that stuff that was negative for me. But that was because I changed my identity of who I was at my core because I used to be someone who was totally weak-minded. I would, I would binge eat. I would not go to the gym. I would wake up late. If I said I was gonna meditate, I would skip it. Every single thing, every commitment that I ever set, I wouldn't hit. And it's because I wasn't a disciplined person. But the second that I started to change the internal, I changed where I wanted to be, I changed the thoughts in my mind, I was able to change my reality. If you like this video, I want you to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping three to five videos a week that are going to directly help you in your mindset, your body, your spirituality, or your business. My ultimate goal in life is for the individuals who see this video and the rest of my videos to become the absolute best version of themselves in those core four areas. So if you want to make more money, if you want to be more fit, more spiritual, if you want to have a stronger mindset, this is the channel for you. The only thing that I ask is that you subscribe, share it on your Instagram, share it with your friends, anyone who you think could benefit from any one of these videos, I want you to share it with them because that is the only way that I'm going to be able to reach my goals of helping individuals achieve peak performance.